So I've been asked about exporting uh, from Gravity Sketch and um, turning that into a printable object. So I'm just going to try and show you now uh, in Mesh Mixer how I go about doing that uh, and preparing something for uh, printing. So I'll just import uh, an object which uh, which I just did last night, and this is a um, I don't know some weird speed form spacecraft thingy, um, and I'll just I'll just start by uh, just rotate it so it's flat. Okay, and then you see these blue lines on here. This is like saying that it's there's some um, uh, errors in it. So let's uh, just go in and inspect it, and then we'll auto repair the holes. And this is probably quite a sizable model as well. So I'm just going to reduce the uh, number of polygons as well once this is done. So control A to select the uh, entire mesh. Uh, edit. Oops, sorry. Edit up here. Reduce. And I guess we'll reduce by, let's say, somewhere around 25. Let's see. Yeah, that looks okay still. Then we're going to do an offset of that. Okay, so here it says minus three. That means it's going to do an offset three millimeters inside. Um, so that's what I want, three millimeter material thickness. Just going to save this now because this uh, seems to have a habit of crashing. Okay, you'll see now we've, where we've got the offset actually in the back here, where it's quite thin, is actually the, there's obviously um, thinner than three millimeter apart, so actually the offset is now appearing through it. So just view. Show object browser and I'm going to select brush. And if I just double click on this, it will select the outer shell and leave the inner shell there. And I can go to edit and separate the two. So then this will give me the uh, so the, uh, oh, sorry. this is the inner one here and this is the outer and so then actually what we're going to do is go in and trim that stuff off the uh, the this, this sticking through so then we will end up with a full material thickness uh, with no hollow in this back area And actually, I think I want full thickness all down through here as well. So I'm just going to actually cut that area off too.
actually, well, that's, that's good enough. So let's, and actually, let's just, uh, let actually just quickly close out those holes. Okay, and then we get these two parts together. So control, click on the two layers, uh, layers, click on combine, and then there we have it. There's our part, and we can just have a little. We can have a quick look at that. What do I look at that? It's the edit plane cut, and. We can let's see. Let's change the plane cut to be ninety degrees this way, and then we can see. Actually, this is the thickness of our part, or this this is the shell that we would print here. So that looks pretty good. There you go, there you have it.